What's going on guys, it's Arrow. Welcome back to the channel where we help you out and break down some stocks so that you can follow along and just understand a little bit more. And basically I'm just making this video because some people in the chat just wanted to um, see how I put my lines in, change the color of them, the dashes, stuff like that. And I know I've made a video kind of similar to this before, but this one I'm just gonna take my time a little bit more, just go a little bit more in depth so that you beginners out there that are just starting to use Thinkorswim can use it a little better, I guess. First things first, C-A-P-R, I know I broke this down again, uh, I believe like yesterday or two days ago, something like that. I already broke this down, I shorted it the second day. Today it had a nice run at the open. It ran all the way to the $9 area. That was a sign already that I wanted to short this and I'm gonna show you why. So the reason why I wanted to short this after it ran all the way up here and the reason why I was comfortable shorting it was because of this massive consolidation resistance right here. And on this day over here, it traded about 200 million volume. So for it to really break that is not very likely. And I, and I understood that from the morning, from the get-go when the market opened. That's why I was very confident, just being patient. After I saw it spike right here, I was hoping it would push up uh, more to this green line because that's, that's really the area I was looking at. And then it happened to push up a little more, which was even better because the higher up that you can get to your risk level, the safer it's gonna be because the reason why I wanted to get up as high as possible is just because I wanted to get up as close again to this green line as possible because I would put my stop just above it because I don't believe that would be able to break it. That's exactly what happened during the day. It used it as a major resistance and started tumbling the rest of the day. So we'll just have to see over the weekend if this is going to gap up, gap down, have volume, not have volume. So we don't know. I know a lot of people ask, hey, what do you think is going to happen when it does this, when it does this? I just have to tell you guys, like, I don't have some type of secret formula. The difference between me and a lot of people is I don't try and predict or guess the directions of stocks. I wait for them to show its direction and then I make a decision. A lot of people always ask me, well, how do you know it's going to do this? How do you know it's going to do that? Just know I don't. I wait for the stock to tell me and then I make a decision based off of that. So I hope that makes sense as well. And that'll save you in a lot of trades. And I guarantee your 1% would go up as well. <clears throat> so that's just a little bit about a CA. That's just a little bit about CAPR, just pushing up into that resistance zone and then it not having enough buying interest or buying volume for it to really break through that area. So that's really what happened with CAPR today. And again, it wasn't really likely for it to even get close to 200 million volume, which it didn't. But after just breaking that down real quick, let's go ahead and just get into how I put my lines in and things like that. So first things first, I do have a line up here. So I'm just going to use this as an example. Take that back off. So when I go over here, I just right click drag and then that's how i put my line and then you can also go over here right click on the line go to edit properties and this is how you change the color of the line you can make it yeah by the way if you don't know i'm a little bit colorblind i'm not gonna lie so yeah you can change it to any of these colors just make it to your style and then you can just look through all these other options in this little menu that it shows and things like that and then you can just save as default um, rename your lines and things like that. You can do so much, especially with Thinkorswim. And I still can't believe this platform is even free because most charges you for everything. Another thing, go to, go over here to customize list, and then it go to add time frame. And if I go over here, um, so let's say intraday, I can go three days, and I can say uh, let's go two minute. I can do three days, two minutes. Add apply. Okay. Go back up here to your time frames. Go find the one you just made and then it'll show the three days, two minutes, and that's how you do that. So that's gonna be really useful for you as well because you can customize that exactly how you like personally. And I know other time frames work. Other time frames work better with other different strategies or areas in the market that you trade as well. So you can go ahead and play around with that. This up here, this little chemistry looking glass thing, that's the way I always look at it. Um, I use volume average, VWAP, and moving average exponential which is the ema line the exponential moving average and for my vwap some people ask how i take those lines off i go over here to settings and then oh wait a minute oh that's definitely the volume average okay i go over here to vwap go to settings and then i go to upper band i uncheck all three of these boxes and then i go to the lower band tab over here and then i uncheck these three boxes as well and then you can change the color of the lines as well and these again Customize, customize the lines however you want. So that's pretty useful as well. And then you can change the color of your EMA line, things like that, really everything. On this thing, you can do everything. Let's go over here to settings. Oh, 
One thing I think is going to be useful to a lot of you guys, so like see how I can see ahead the days that haven't um, happened already. Like right here would be Monday and it hasn't opened already and I can just see ahead. I'm going to show you guys how I can do that because it's really annoying. If you don't have that, it literally looks like this when you're on the chart. So if you go to the one day, one minute, this is what it would look like. The screen would be literally on the edge and that's just annoying. You kind of want to see where the price is headed on the chart. So go over here to settings. Um, Go over here to appearance. No, go over here to... Okay, I forgot, I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, time axis. <laughs> and then click the drop down menu. I like to click 100, you can do 50, it doesn't even matter, but just click whatever you prefer. And that's how you change that. And then if you go over here to appearance as well, you can change if you want the candlesticks to fill up, fill down, um, show the wicks, the color of the background stick, the color of the volume sticks, the color of the background of the charts on the graph. You can, I mean, you can literally change this however you want. I can change it to white. I can change it to whatever color this is, blue, um, but I'm just going to leave it as is. But yeah, that's how you do that. Um, I don't think I'm really missing anything. Uh, this is level two down here. It's just this tab over here to the right. The ask is the pending selling orders and the bid is the pending buy orders. And then right here just shows you the bid size. And then over here to the right on the ask, it shows you the ask size. And then I also always have the live news tab open as well, just so I can see if any news just pops up throughout the day. Um, that's been happening with some stocks lately too, so that's pretty useful. And that's how I can tell if a stock is, is releasing news while I'm in it or things like that. And then another thing I like to use is time and sales over here. It's active once the market is open. So when the market's open, if you click time and sales, you'll notice this thing is just like, it's like, it's just receipts basically. Um, they're just printing down the thing. It shows just a lot of flashing red and green. And this is really useful because you can use the level two. These are the pending orders. So you can see huge pending orders before or they're executed. And you don't just want to base trades or, or future orders based off of the level two because these are pending orders. You have to remember the bid and the ask. These are pending orders in the market. These have not gone through yet. You can't forget these have not gone through. You want to be able to read the level two and then, then you want to be able to also read that the order was executed over here on the right on time and sales. So this will show you the size executed and at which price and at what time. And these will be live orders during the market. And again, this is TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim. It's a completely free platform for anyone to use. And it's, there's so many tools you can customize. Everything's free. Everything works fine. That's going to be pretty much it. I just wanted to throw this video out there real quick because some people in the chat were asking for it. I just wanted to get it out there for you guys. And also a lot of people in the chat have been learning so much. It's pretty cool to see a lot of people already improving just from a couple of weeks being in the chat, just being around uh, like-minded individuals and just seeing the other people and they're making progress just inspires other people and makes them want to make progress and then makes them want to learn and then it just encourages and everyone in there just gets inspired so that's pretty cool and if you want to be in that discord chat um, the links will be in my description if you want to find me on any of my social media all of that will be down in the description as well and if you got any value out of this video again i would really appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel because that would just help me so much i appreciate your guys' time it's nice to have you guys in the discord chat again and i'd like to meet more of you so go ahead and join that and i'll see you guys in the next video